daughter is expecting a baby boy. So I'm, I found an easy pattern on the internet and that's what I'm going with. Hello, Timmy. How are you? How are your appointments today? I worked hard in Pilates. <laughs> and now I'm working on this Afghan that's really simple. I don't know if I like it for a baby, a newborn baby. Timmy says I'm just fine. Just had a rough start for my appointments and it's a rough. Oh, I'm so sorry you had a rough start, Timmy. What happened? Welcome in, everybody. This is what I'm making. It's going to be a baby afghan. I'm using the sweet roll. Premier Sweet Roll. <clears throat> it's very soft. It's a hundred percent acrylic. Hi, Kathy. How are you today? Two hundred forty five yards per cake. 100% acrylic, but it feels a lot nicer than Red Heart. Much softer. It's a four weight. I'm using an H hook. You're sore. It'll get better, Kathy. Keep working at it, okay? It'll get better. I'm a little sore too. Timmy said they had the info for the appointment wrong. My first appointment was for 9 a.m. Second appointment for 11.40. The cab was picking me up at 12.30 and had no info on my first appointment. Wow. What a mess. Kathy says, have a good day. You too, Kathy. Shatika, hello. How are you? Timmy says, hi, Kathy. Are you leaving so soon, Kathy? You just got here. I'm working on a baby blanket right now for my grandson, which who is due in May. Timmy says, so I was able to get things 
rolling, then sit and wait for the cab, hoping I wouldn't be late where I would have had to reschedule. Right. Timmy says, hi to Shatika. Hello, Don. How are you? She says, hello, Michelle and everyone in chat. And currently driving to go pick a Harrison, so I can't see who's here. But hello to everyone. And if my comments don't make sense, because I'm using voice to text. Okay. I'm working on a baby Afghan. I just started it. But um, I started it actually last night. I didn't get very far last night and I watched part of the tutorial again today. And this is a very easy baby afghan, a row of double crochets, then a row of single, a single and a double in every other row or every other stitch, skipping a stitch in between. So you switch I'm on a all double crochet row right now. And then when I get it, as long as I need it, then I'll go back and watch more of the tutorial. It's by Joe to the world, the modern uh, baby blanket. If you all want to look at it. Timmy said, but I made it. So the second thing was the company who sends me the supplies for my Dexcom saying I gave them invalid info on myself. Lovely, isn't it? When they mess up like that and they blame you. Hello, Breezy. Says, hello, Michelle and wonderful friends. Well, hello there. How are you? Timmy says, hi, Darcia. Is Breezy Darcia? Yeah, doing well. All right, wonderful. Timmy says, here's Darcia's link. Okay, wonderful, thank you. I got home a little before two and I came right live. I wanted to come live because I don't know what time my husband's getting home. He went to the next state over north of here. Yes, Greasy Darsha. Um, Darcia White says to me, no, different Darcia. Okay. So what are you all working on today? And what's in your cup? I've got water and I've got coffee. My coffee is almost done. I'm Darcia Stone. Okay, Darcia. And Timmy says, oh, I see. Okay, thank you very much, Darcia. 
We normally have a Darcia White that comes in. So that's where the confusion came in. But thank you for being here. Darcius is finishing a stitch doll from the movie. Very cute. Sounds adorable. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Timmy says the last thing for us was waiting almost half an hour or more for the cap to go home. Yeah, I hate waiting like that. We were a full class today in Pilates, six students. That was about almost as full as it can get. Sarah says, doing all right, thank you. How are you? I am kind of tuckered out because I went, just got back from Pilates. Timmy says, Michelle, it's been raining here since last night, so it's cool. Oh, I'm so sorry. Darcia says, until the last year, I had only heard of one person with my name, same name. So it is cool to see more here. Oh, how cool. Don says, did you finish your other Afghan? No. No, I did not. I've got a ways to go on that one, too. But I have this beautiful yarn, and I says, I got to do something with it. And I wanted to make a baby blanket with it. So that's what I'm doing. And my grandson is doing less than two months. Well, around two months from now. I'm not sure of the exact day. <clears throat> Don says, I saw it together and put the eyes on my other somebody last night. Oh, wonderful. Michelle, did you do the devotional today? Yes. I did it at the same time. I meant to do the armor of God later. But I used the, the one video had both Armor of God and Devotional. Darcia White is here. Woohoo! Hello, how are you? We've got another Darcia in here, Darcia. Sarah said, I just started Bad La La Land Cocoon Cardigan. Oh, that's wonderful. I got most of it done. I didn't do the uh, sleeves or cuffs or whatever you want to call it. But I got the rest of it made. Timmy says, cool, Sarah. Darcia says, hello, Darcia White. I'm going to call you Breezy, okay? Timmy says, hi, Darcia White. Darcia says, hello, Timmy, Dozer, Sarah, and Darcia. Well, Breezy. Is that okay if I call you Breezy? So uh, you all don't get confused? 
So happy together, yes. Breezy said, that is great. Breezy is my nickname. Cool. Sarah says, hello to Darcia. Thank you very much. Breezy says, Timmy. And Brenna is my daughter. Cool. Breezy and Bre Brenna. Or is it Bree? How would you pronounce that? Long E or short E sound for the Y? <clears throat> How did they get breezy from Darcia? Timmy says, y'all show the love. Don't forget the thumbs up, please. Thank you. Beautiful, Breezy. Yeah. Wonderful. So I'm still working on this. I'm still on the double crochet, bro. So what are you all working on? Don says, I'm going to try not to start any new projects. I have to finish my son's scarf so I can get that and his hat mailed out. And I need to work on the triplet baby blankets so they can be ready for summer. Awesome. Because they are stroller blankets, but my friends send me a couple of something of light fingering sock yarn. And I found a really cool pattern that might be hard to resist. Amazing. That's great, Dawn. Timmy says, wow, Dawn, be right back. Sarah says, I hear you, Dawn. I have about seven projects going at the moment. Wow. Darcia says, I'm still working on my chevron blanket. That's great. Just a minute, guys. Got to get more coffee.
Timmy says, oh my gosh. So what's new with all of you? What are your plans this weekend? We've got uh, St. Patty's Day coming up Sunday. Do you have any big plans this weekend? Pink wig, not pancake, says Dawn. Trying to see where that was. Oh, binky like a pacifier. Okay, cool. It's pretty awesome. So I am working on this. I'm hoping it goes quickly because it's it's easy. It's an easy pattern. Breezy says whips and organizing spring cleaning. Wow. Awesome. And Don says, people are so strange nowadays. Yep. Breezy says, I'd rather be reading than cleaning. I hear you. And Timmy says, yippers. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, I just got, I don't see that to me. That heart is in the way. Just got mail and I got a large box in the mail. Woohoo! Lucky you. Guess what I got? Uh, uh, you. I know you didn't get a sewing machine. I don't know. A knitting machine? Breezy says, question, how does everyone prioritize watching content? I have so many channels and get overwhelmed trying to watch all. I don't watch them all. I've got my few favorites and maybe if I have time, I'll go watch others. Timmy says the box was light. Um, no, and an air fryer. Well, that's Don's guess, an air fryer. I'm gonna say, Uh, yarn. Not for me. I didn't send you a big box of yarn. Timmy said, eight skeins of yarn, said Don. So when you have, 
down time, watch your favorite first, then about 15 minutes of the others. Hi, Sue. How are you? I'm working on a baby blanket with that sweet roll yarn. In the blues. What are you working on, Sue? And what are you doing today? Does anybody have big plans tomorrow? My husband is going gonna be in a parade with the Shriners. He's gonna drive one of those go-karts. I have a women's tea brunch to go to at our church. Sue says, I'm good. I just ate a big lunch. Good for you. Don said, just checking out the garden and getting everything situated tonight. I'm going to steam block my grandma's shawl. Awesome. Sue says, I'm working on a blanket and I'm taking it easy. Good for you. I went to Pilates, came home, wanted to go live right after I got home. Sarah says, hello, Sue. We don't have plans this weekend. All my boys are working. We should find out this weekend if we got the house or not. Awesome. Sarah, Dawn says, I went to Walmart on my lunch to buy the cheap steamer they had for $15, but then I saw the $45 steamer, and it was shiny. <laughs> oh, wow. Timmy says, no, I had an e got an Easter basket with a big blue cuddly bunny rabbit. One white bunny holding a blue Easter egg sequined. Ooh. And three bags of candy with a chocolate bunny. And, of course, a pink basket. And who sent that to you, Timmy? Minus the fake grass. Yeah. Sam and Nemo. Okay, cool. Don says, I'll tell me that's cute. I don't get it. Tell you that's cute. What's cute? Breezy says, I would love to find a steamer. They seem to be less common nowadays, LOL. <clears throat> Dunn says, fingers crossed for you, Sarah. Hope you get it. So exciting. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? You're late to the party. That's okay. All stragglers are welcome. Come on in, one and all. Kathleen says, I'm blessed. I think we all are. Dawn says, Breezy Walmart has several different types, anywhere from $15 to $800. They had about eight different ones. Really? Cool. What, what part department are they in? 
with the irons. We're talking steamers. <clears throat> I'm working on a baby blanket with that soft, sweet roll yarn by Premier. Breezy says, thank you. I figured it's gonna be blue. Three different colors in here. I'm on the middle, medium blue, and then I'll go to the light blue. Dawn says, yeah, they were next to the irons. Okay. That's awesome. My husband is uh, has gonna be in a parade tomorrow, and I won't. I'm gonna be missing it. But after the parade, he's gonna come home, put the truck in the garage, his little uh, go kart, and then he we're gonna go to the shrine for the party. Don says, I saw a video where you could steam with your iron steam settings, but you had to be careful not to get too close, and I just know I would melt. Yeah. Me too, Don. That I can't do that because I would get too close to the yarn and melt it. Breezy says, I steam my heating up my instant pot and then releasing the steam, lol. Yep, that works. Dawn says, I would have melted it. Yep. Sue says, I'm going to take a nap. See you all later. Have a great nap time, Sue. Take care. Don says, Breezy, these are hard held garment steamers or drape steamers. Cool. And Breezy says, works great for cleaning as well. Cool. Darcia says, hello, Nana Mama Cat. And Kathleen says, good night, Sue. All right. So my husband went up north with a friend of his tonight, today, um, to fix his daughter's car, who's away at college. So they should be home around five o'clock or so. And my husband may have another uh, meeting tonight if he feels up to it. Darcia says hello to Kathleen and Sue. Breezy says, yes, I just have to move my garment or pot around. Hello, well. <laughs> All right. 
Don says, oh, I got you, Breezy. Yep. And Don says, be right back. So today, last night I didn't do a video go live because my husband was home and I wanted to spend time with him. Oh, Breezy says, got to run. Have a great weekend. Happy St. Patty's Day. You too, Breezy. Thank you for being here. We'll talk to you later. I don't know where everybody went. There were seven people here a little bit ago. Now there's only three. That's okay. So Kathleen, what are you working on? I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. <clears throat> I appreciate all of you who are here. I'm going to see about next week if I can find some jobs to work. Uh Next week, sorry, that's okay. Timmy says hi to Kathleen. My instructor added more 
resistance a stronger uh they've got bands to uh for um rather than wait i feel as though my innards were falling out wow That's not good, Timmy. That's so cool that you got a nice box in the mail like that, Timmy. Make sure you hide it so your neighbors don't come and get your candy. I didn't wait to go, so you ran. It is now. I have another box. Yay. What is now? You know, for Peck. Oh. All righty. Okie dokie. Would you want to hear a praise report, Michelle? Yes. I'm always up for that. Always up to hear praise reports. Now, you know what trials I had this morning, right? Yes, Timmy, I know. I'm waiting for the praise report. Well, God made it so I had a ride. Wasn't really late to my appointment. And the 1307 bill was expunged. Wow. 
So you got your medications back anyway? That's great, Timmy. Praise God. Wow, that's awesome. Mind you, I trust God in all of this. Wonderful, Timmy. That is great. So now, did your appointments go well today, Timmy? So should I put the Bible challenge card question of the day? If sure. Your appointments went well. That's good. <clears throat> awesome. I don't know where everybody went. There's only you let you and someone else here, Timmy. Hello, Great Granny C. How are you? There she says I was still working on my blanket. Ah, okay. All right. I'm working on a baby Afghan. I would like to get this game done. This is what I've got so far. Great. Granny C says, great. How are you? I'm doing all right. So glad you joined us. What are you working on? Granny C says, hello, Darcia. Timmy says, okay, I'm back. Welcome back. 
I'm expecting my first grandchild. My daughter is expecting a boy in May. A baby boy. Darcy says, I will have to start dinner. See y'all later in the YouTube streets. Take care, Darcy. Thank you for stopping in. Timmy says, hi, Greg, Granny C. So what can we call you besides Greg, Granny C? I am working on a sleep time snuggly. Cool. Sleepy time snuggly. Awesome. Is that like a blanket with sleeves? All right, Greek Granny sees Link. All right. Thank you, Timmy. Don says, okay, back, but I got to go checking over at FO Friday. I sent in my pics. I got to keep checking over. What's FO Friday? Timmy says, oh, I see. Okay, Darcy, white. God bless. Take care. Be safe. Hugs. Timmy said, welcome back, Dawn. And Dawn says, BJ's Crochet does FO Friday live every Friday. You send her your pic post on Facebook and she shares them on the live. Oh, cool. That's pretty neat. Great Granny C says, hello, Timmy. Today's daily question is posted in the comments of your earlier life. Thank you. Timmy says, oh, wow. Yeah. Some people are good with technology. I'm not. Okay, you can call me Connie. All right, Connie, thank you. So what are you working on, Connie? I'm getting kind of tired now. I've been live about almost an hour. Connie, what's wrong with your hand? Huh? 
Why are you asking her what's wrong with her hand? Oh, Connie says it's a little blanket with a sleeping bunny head and arms. Oh, but it's slow going because of my hand. Okay. For some reason, I missed that text until just now. Yeah, what's wrong with your hand? They think it's arthritis and carpal tunnel. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm getting some carpal tunnel in my right hand too. But there ain't no way I'm getting this surgery on it. I'm too busy working out and there's nothing that's going to stop me from that. Timmy says I have both and heating pad works wonderful. Cool. I'll have to remember that. Timmy said the surgery makes it work worse about five to seven years down the road. Oh, wow. Connie says I will have to get one, LOL. Cold water helps too. Really? That's cool. Timmy says, do whatever you can, Connie. My hands like to cramp up. Yep. I hear you. Mm-hmm. So now I'm doing another row. I'm just starting a, the row of double crochets again. Hmm. 
Connie says, oh, it burns, constantly tingles, and the joints hurt so bad, and it wakes me up at night. Oh, wow. I found some stuff called on Amazon called Fibro Green. It works really well. I highly recommend it. It comes in a tube. Thank you. I will try that. You're welcome. My husband has used it on his knees. And it has helped him quite a bit. Me, my legs hurt everywhere. Because they got pretty much mangled from a wreck I was in. So it's amazing I can walk. I just can't walk as far as most people. So I wouldn't know where to put it on me. Well, it's pretty amazing that I can walk, and so I do the best I can. So I do the Pilates now twice a week, and that really helps. I feel a whole lot better. I still can't walk long distances, but I can... It's worked a lot of muscles that I never knew I had. Timmy says our get pain reliever patches from the Dollar Tree. They are small but sometimes work faster than lidocaine patches, pain reliever patches. I forgot to look at that for those when I went to uh, Dollar Tree. How long do you keep them on you before you uh, remove them, Timmy? Dawn says, okay, they'd featured my FOs first, and I'm not going to be able to look at anyone else's anyways because I'm driving, so I'm back for good now. Oh, cool, Don. Thank you. 12 hours. All right. And then do you throw them away or what? I, I'm not sure how that works because I've never used them. And how many come in a package?
I just switched to the light blue on the um in this cake. Let's see. Yes, throw them away after you get 20 in a package. All right. And how big are they? For 125 plus tax, yep. How big are they? Two inches long and one and a half inches wide. Cool. Works faster than lidocaine. Cool. Connie says, my hand looks like a mummy. I cut a letter cane patch up and put it all over my hand. Wow. Timmy says, do you have a soft stress ball, Connie? And Connie says, I will have to try Dollar Tree ones. Timmy says, it helps to massage your hands. Yeah. And no, she doesn't have a soft stress ball. Do they sell those at Dollar Tree too, Timmy? Timmy's a Dollar Tree queen. She knows everything they have. All the treasures. Don says, you can fill a plastic bottle with rice and tie it up, or a plastic bag. Awesome. Timmy says, what about a tennis ball? Hi, Jason. How are you? All right, your Dollar General stores are closing? Hmm. 
Timmy says, yes, Don, that would work. Connie says, okay, I will get a stress ball, but I am open to anything. Thank you, ladies, for the information. You're welcome. Hello, Jeannie. How are you? Hello, Michelle and everyone here today. Hope everyone is well. Hope you are as well, Jeannie. Thank you for being here. Timmy says, hi, Jason and Jeannie. So glad you're here. I'm working on a baby blanket. It's gonna be all blues. I'm using soft sweet roll, premier sweet roll. So I hope this looks good enough for my grandson. It's nice and soft. It's acrylic yarn, but it's a lot softer than Red Heart. Feels nice, actually. Don says, hi, Jason. Hope you're doing well. Timmy says, no worries, Connie. I'm a medical assistant and have helped many or helped my mom with massaging and et cetera for many years. And I'm finally getting warm, Michelle. Well, good. Did you make yourself some tea when you got home? That's what I would have done, tea or hot cocoa, when I got home and I was cold. Yes, I did make tea, says Timmy. All right. All right. Jason says... I was told years ago what is good for stress and listen to chamber music in Mozart and take long walks. Edge would contribute to 10 points lower on my blood pressure. Wow. That's great. Timmy says, I did tell Tina you are alive, Michelle. Okay. Thank you. Now it says I've got two people here. For a while it said one person. But I think I got more people than that in here. It says two right now. Five. Boy, it's jumping. I know you're here, Timmy. All right. And Don is still here. All right, good. Thank you. I may not be the most exciting person, but I'm on here a lot. Here's my blanket. Hopefully, 
They'll appreciate it. There's our Dawn. Dawn says, still driving, so that's why I'm just quiet. Okay. I can understand that, Dawn. Connie said, that was nice of you, Timmy, taking care of mom. Yeah. Timmy said, don't get me started, Michelle. I'll be LOL. Started on what? It's one of the things I just knew how to do, helped my older sisters too. Awesome. What do you mean get you started? Oh, okay. Don't want to get you started on that. I started my... Next row, which is single and then double crochet in the same stitch and then skip the next stitch. Do a single and a double in the same stitch and then skip the next stitch. Single, double, skip the next stitch, single, double, Don says, I'm excited to get home and unbox my shiny new steamer and see if it makes the shawl softer and drapier like they say it does. Really? Cool. Let us know, okay, Don? I'm excited to hear about that. I'm not sure how I'm going to like this, but it's going to be nice anyway, even if it's not for a newborn. Because there's holes. The kid could put his fingers in there and get them stuck. I try to avoid that for small babies. But I'm using up yarn because I've got a lot of it. Timmy says, me too. What's me too?
Connie says that sounds awesome, Dozer. I hope it works out the way they say. So what are your plans tonight? If my husband stays home, I'm going to hang out with him and not go live. But if he goes to his other meeting tonight, I may go live again. It all depends. I know tomorrow night we've got a party to go to. So I'm just going to be taking it easy tomorrow afternoon when I get home from church. I'm going to try to take a nap. So I'll be well rested when my husband and I go to the party. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll, I will do my devotional at 630 in the morning. And I'll do the armor of God the same time. Don says, well, if you're going to go live, I guess I'll be with you. All right, Don, I like that. Thank you. And Connie said, going to have pizza with my youngest son. That sounds wonderful. Haven't had pizza in a while. It'd be nice to go get some. Timmy says, awesome, Connie. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. My kids don't live near here. So I don't see them that often. So my daughter at Christmas and her husband. I haven't seen my son since last summer. Timmy says, agreed, Don. Yep. Timmy says, I haven't seen my children for five or so years. Wow. It's a long time. Don says, I haven't seen my eldest son and my eldest daughter since last Mother's Day, except for on FaceTime. And they said they're coming at Christmas this year. Awesome. Connie says it's hard when they grow up and move away. Yep. Sure is. My son may be moving even farther 
if he gets a job, he's been uh, interviewing for. He may end up in California. That would be sad. Right now, he's only in uh, Colorado. So if he can stay there, that would be a plus, a definite plus. Oh boy, says Timmy. Still an eight hour drive, but at least we could drive it. I need to take a break, everyone. I'll be back. I'm back. Connie, Connie says, I am going to try my hand at my poly, making polymer clay handles for my hooks. What a great idea, Connie. Awesome. Where did you get the clay and what colors? That would be awesome. Don says, I'll be home in like 20 minutes. I hate this drive. Wow. That's a long drive. Mm. 
the things we do for our kids, right, Don? Don said, the place is only 33 miles away from my house. But in the south, it seems like it takes an hour to get everywhere. Wow. Timmy says, welcome back, Michelle. Thank you. I guess it doesn't help that I live in the boonies. All right. Seems like you've been driving since you've been on the live with me, which is I've been on an hour and a half. Don says, I've been driving since before you went live. Wow. Connie says, LOL, I have not gotten any yet. I've seen some on Temu or Amazon. I am in the investigation stage to see what all I need. I am excited about it. That's awesome. I think you can get it at Walmart even. Look at Walmart's um, website. You can probably order some from them, Granny C. Connie. You left your house at 2.40. Wow. That's a long drive. Because you make it like a lot several times a week. <clears throat> I need to get stuck in, I tend to get stuck in the investigation stage way too often. Yep. So tomorrow I'll only be live in the morning. Early morning. Connie says, Don, it feels longer to you today because you have that steamer waiting for you. <laughs> Probably. Don says, Monday through Friday. Wow. Things we do for our kids. Have you ever thought of moving to a place closer? 
to where your son goes. Just curious, Don. Don says, no, I love my house and my land. I really don't want to go anywhere else. But his therapist is going to start coming to the house two days a week starting next Thursday. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Praise God. I am... It looks like I messed up somewhere, guys, on this row. So let me count. I'm going to have to fudge this one. Yeah. <coughs> Don says hi. I'd eventually like to get a scholarship to send him to a private school for autism, but that's also kind of far away. Yep, and the therapy is definitely helping him. Well, praise God. Praise God for that. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's wonderful. So now I'm on the row of double crochets again. I don't know what, the pattern looked pretty neat, and I don't know if this is looking exactly like I thought it was going to look. But I'm not ready to take it all out. So I'll just keep going with this pattern and see where it takes me. Don says, I hate that. I hate that. Have you tried changing hook sizes? Sometimes that helps. With what? I was doing a knitting pattern and that wasn't looking right to me, but then I went up a size in needles and it looked great. I don't know. I think it's the edging that's going to make it pop. And I'm not a, near the edging yet, so I've got a ways to go yet on that. Looks like you're the only one here with me, Dawn. Woohoo! I'm on my own. I'm my. Yep, you're here by your lonesome. It looks like there's only one, says it's only one person. You're, oh, you're on your road. So I'm glad I got to keep you company on your drive. Granny C says, no, I am here. I was on phone. Okay. So welcome back, Connie. Hmm. 
but I think I'm going to have to get off here and uh, get dinner started, too. I appreciate the company on my drive. You're welcome. Connie says, steamer, here she comes. She is on home stretch now. LOL. Yep. You all have a wonderful day. God bless you. And uh, if you want, at 6.30 Central Time, I do a d devotional every morning. So I hope to see you then. Bye for now.